I... I'm always rooting for you. Keep up the great work. I, Haruto Shirai, am currently at a handshaking event to see my favorite pop idol. She lives in my hometown, but she's known nationwide, and I worship her with all my heart. She's the best. Thank you for coming to see me, Haruto. You... You remember my name? <laughs> of course. You've been coming to my handshaking events ever since I debuted. I always made sure to get a ticket to her handshaking events, no matter what. It wasn't easy getting tickets every time, but I'm so glad I did it. She remembers me. I do not regret spending all the money I made for my part-time job on her. I only work to make money to spend on her. She isn't just any pop idol. She's a goddess! Meeting I is the one thing I live for. To be honest, I've never felt the need for a girlfriend. Having I in my life is more than enough. I guess you can see how much of a geek I am. But at school, I hide this side of me. Haruto, come on, wake up! Mm, is it morning? You won't have any time to eat breakfast! Get up! Ah, okay. This is my little sister, Haruka. She's energetic and quite loud, but I adore her nonetheless. She's a year younger than me, a sophomore in high school. I'm so sleepy. Yeah, yeah, time to eat, sleepyhead. Haruka, you remind me so much of Mom. Hey, it's not my fault. Mom and Dad are overseas right now. I need to make sure you don't ruin your life. My father was transferred to a branch overseas half a year ago, and my mother decided to go with him. So it's just Haruka and me in this house right now. Okay. Thanks for making breakfast. It's so good. <laughs> well, I'm a great cook. There's no time for that right now. You'll be late. Eat up. Yeah, yeah. I made sure to eat everything on my plate, and then we got ready to go to school. Um, good morning. Oh, hey, Mana. Morning. This is Mana Hanasaki. She's my little sister's friend, and I see her when she comes over from time to time. Good morning, Manu. Uh, Haruka, good morning. I feel so lucky. We rarely get to bump into you on our way to school. Uh, well, I guess today is a lucky day for me, too, since I got to see you. Seeing these two together? It's a nice thing to see in the morning. They're so cute. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Do you want to come over this weekend? We can hang out. Oh, yes. We can have a sleepover. Um, I'm sorry. I can't sleep over. I see. But, but I can stay out a little late. Really? Okay, that sounds great. Yep. Apparently, these two will be hanging out during the weekend. I love seeing how close they are. The weekend finally came. Haruto, let's play. Haruka? I thought you were hanging out with Mana. Mana is right here, see? Hi, how are you? Hey, I'm good. But won't Mana feel awkward if your big brother is around? Oh, um, it's okay. All right. So what do you guys want to do? I bought some cards. Then I guess we should play cards. And so, we decided to play a game of Old Maid. This one. This is definitely the one. It was down to either Haruka or me. Mana finished a while ago. Uh, how could this be? I can't believe I picked the Joker. <laughs> you aren't good enough for me. Uh. I'm not going to lose. I'm going to win, and then you're going to buy cake for me. You never mentioned anything about buying a cake. <laughs> Don't you want your little sister to be happy? You're just saying that to get cake. Well, yes, I am. So, Haruto, come on. You better pick the Joker. I reached over to pick one of the cards. <laughs> hmm, I see. Next, I reached over for the other card in her hand. No! 
She's making it too obvious. Haruka has never been good at keeping her emotions inside. They always show on her face. I picked my card. Huh? Oh, <laughs> you picked the Joker. Uh, dang it. <laughs> no, you're finished, Haruto. Let's see if you can pick the card you want, Haruka. I got this. Yay, I won! Ah, uh, I... I lost. <laughs> Haruto, go buy us some cake. Jeez, I'm not your butler. Make sure you get some for Mana, too. I know, I know. Huh? It's okay. I don't need any cake. Hey, you were the first winner. You deserve cake, too. But... but... Don't worry about it. Haruto, why do I have the feeling you're being too nice to Mana? Do you like her? What? No, it's not like that. Oh my gosh, you can't just ask him stuff like that? You guys panicked. Something smells fishy. Hey, stop trying to mess with us! <laughs> my bad. You're not sorry at all! If that's the way you want to act, I'm not buying you any cake. Oh no, I'm really sorry. Do you want cake? Yes. Can you be a good girl? Yes, I can. Fine, let's go buy some. Yay! <laughs> huh? Mana, why are you laughing? Um, it's just... You guys are so close. I wish I had a brother. Oh, because you don't have any siblings? You could have Haruto if you want. Hey, Haruka! I'm not a rental brother. Sorry, Mana. He could learn to cooperate more. Wait, stop! Why am I the bad guy here? <laughs> you get along so well. I don't know if we can call this getting along well. I wanted to ask why Mana thought that way, but we left the house to go buy cake before I could. After we came home from cake shopping, it made me happy to see them satisfied with their cakes. They were excited from the moment we stepped into the shop. I guess all girls like cake. I had some myself, and it tasted better since the girls looked so happy. We decided to hang out a little after. Huh? You want me to take you guys to the station so Mana can go home? Haruka started making more requests. I mean, it's pretty late. Don't you think it'll be dangerous for Mana to go alone? So you want to walk her there, but you'll be scared on your way home. That's why you want me to come, right? Yep. Fine. I guess I'll go then. Uh, I'm sorry, Haruto. Don't worry about it. It's partially my fault for making you stay so late. That's right. It's a big brother's responsibility. She just took that line from me. And so, we started walking towards the station. However, we were about halfway there when... Uh... Haruka? What's wrong? N nothing You don't look so good. Are you okay? Oh, I'm gonna go over there and pick some flowers. What? Nobody picks flowers when it's this dark? It doesn't matter whether it's day or night. Flowers are living too! You can't just pick them out of their homes like that! Haruto, you idiot! Sets the tone, let me go! Haruka forced my arm off and ran into the park. Whoa, seriously? What's up with her? <laughs> well, maybe we should just let her go and do whatever she needs to. I... I guess. Hmm. Uh... I've never been alone with Mana before. Haruka has always been there. This is awkward. Hey, thanks for hanging out with Haruka. She really likes you. Oh, no. I'm the one who has to thank both of you. Um, this is kind of embarrassing. But besides Haruka, I don't have any other friends. Huh? Really? Um... I take a lot of days off to school compared to other students. I guess I'm a bit of a loner since I don't get to hang out with everybody as much as I want to. 
I see. I understand how she wouldn't get many invitations since she doesn't have much free time. Plus, it's difficult to maintain a friendship if you don't come to school to spend time with each other. Well, I'm sure Haruka would love to hang out with you whenever you have free time. Huh? She likes having people's attention. I know it'll mean a lot to her if you could hang out with her when you can. I mean, she kept you late tonight because she likes you so much. Wow, that means a lot to me. And if there's anything you need help with, don't hesitate to ask me, okay? Uh, are you sure? Of course. You're always there for Haruka. We'd like to do the same for you. I don't know the details, but maybe Mana has had problems with friends in the past. That's why she doesn't come to school. Thank you so much! Um, this is a completely different topic, but I heard from Haruka that you are a huge fan of Ai, the pop idol. Is that true? Oh my gosh! I can't believe she told you that! Is... is it true? Oh! <laughs> well, I, I... I guess it is. I'm really into her. I, I understand how Haruka would think I was obsessed. I mean... I is so pretty and cute. Uh, uh, what's wrong? Um, well, would you be happy if you got to see her? Well, actually, I've met her before. I go to every one of her handshaking events. Um, no, I meant, would you be happy if you got to see her when she was off the job? Of course. I would be ecstatic. To be honest... I might start rolling around on the ground. Wait, I shouldn't do that with I watching me? Uh, I see. Well, um, you can't tell anybody, but I'm I, the pop idol. Huh? What? What's going on? Huh? Why? Um, I make sure I dress differently so nobody would recognize who I am. Uh, n -n -n not that, I, I mean, why would I be friends with my little sister? Wait, why didn't you tell me? Um, well, you're always so kind to me whether I'm I or Mana. And so I thought it would be better if I told you. It might make you happier if you knew that you were hanging out with I. I see. Uh, yes, well, I, I am very happy, but what do I do? How am I going to hang out with her knowing she's my favorite pop idol? Um, hey, does Haruka know? Haruto! <gasps> Mana, thanks for waiting. Oh, uh, what? Did something happen? Um, nothing, nothing happened. Really? You're out of breath, though. <laughs> I'm okay. I see. So she hasn't told Haruka yet. Hey, Mana is acting weird, I'm sure of it. Haruto, what did you do with her while I was gone? What? I didn't do anything! He's right, he didn't do anything. Are you sure? Why are you smirking like that? Anyways, we should get I, uh, Mana, to the station. We headed towards the station, but I could tell Haruka was watching us and smiling like she sensed something. However, I never expected what came next. What happened in the next few days changed our lives forever. Especially mine. What? A picture of I and her boyfriend? A few days after Haruka and I took Mana to the station, I was looking through my social network account. I found an article about I being in a romantic relationship. Oh my gosh, who's this boyfriend of hers? Wait, is that me? I didn't realize there were people taking pictures of us! I realized I needed to get in touch with Ai as fast as possible. I rushed to Haruka's room to ask for Ai's contact information. Haruto, we need to talk to you about something. Huh? Haruka? Why is Mana with you? Mana just told me she got kicked out of her house. What? Why? Mana told me while we were on our way home here. But she happens to be I, your favorite pop idol. The one you worship. Uh, I know. Yeah, I heard she told you when we took her to the station. Apparently, somebody took pictures of you and Mana together. 
Everyone is talking about how Mana has a boyfriend now. Yeah, I just saw the article. Oh, so you knew. Anyways, Mana's father owns the entertainment agency Mana works for, and he's furious about what happened. And that's why you got kicked out of your house? Yes. Oh, man. So, it's partially your responsibility, right? Huh? Mana only told you because she wanted to make you happy. So wouldn't it be irresponsible for us not to help her in any way? Yes, I guess. Let's let Mana stay over at our place until her father is ready to forgive her. What? You can't be serious! M Mana, are you sure you're okay with that? Um, yes, I... I don't want to go home right now. Oh, I see. Isn't this... a little inappropriate? But Haruka is right. I am partially responsible. Okay, let's do it. You can stay here and live with us until your father calms down a little. Th thank you so much! And so, the three of us started living together. Mana was hard working, and she helped out with the housework. She was a huge help, and we were glad she was here. But, what are you going to do about your career? Well, about that, I wanted to ask you something. Huh? Haruto, will you be my boyfriend? Please? Uh, what? Oh, the, the plane! Uh, I'm sorry. Mana, just stay back, okay? And make sure you don't step on any of the sharp pieces. You can cut your feet. Oh, okay. I made sure Mana was safe from danger and went to get a broom and dustpan to clean up the mess. So, about the whole dating thing, are you sure? Y yes Boyfriends and marriage and stuff are issues I have to face in the future anyways. I just figured... If rumors are going on about us right now, why not make it real? Maybe we should think this through. Well, no matter what we say, there will always be fans that believe we are dating. So I think it would be best if we just started dating. That way we can solve the problems thrown at us. B but still... Why would you choose me to be your boyfriend? I wouldn't pick anybody else! You've been supporting me ever since I debuted, even before I became well-known. And you were kind to Mona, even if she was just a boring friend of your little sister. There's nobody else that I would rather do this with! Wow. So, Mana, did you have feelings for me? I don't know how strong my feelings are, but you have always been on my mind. To be honest, a part of me felt like I was dreaming. However, my cheek hurt when I pinched it, so I guess this is happening in real life. And so... Okay, I would love to be your boyfriend. I decided to date Mana for real. Th thank you so much! Let's go meet my father now. We have to talk to him. What, now? We should hurry, before he starts telling the press some other ridiculous story. Suddenly, I was to meet Mana's father to explain everything to him. Yes, he totally freaked out on me, but Mana wouldn't pull back, and she even said she would quit for me. So her father had no choice but to accept. She was too good of a pop idol to let go. Now that Mana convinced her father to let us date, she now has a lot to do to get her fans back. But I'll save that story for another day. I just wanted to spread the story of how I began to date one of the most famous pop idols in Japan. Oh, FYI, Mana is still living with me in my house. There's an angel at the convenience store nearby. Her name is Emily. Gorgeous blonde hair with beautiful blue eyes. She's a foreign student and recently started working at the store. Welcome! She's still learning how to speak Japanese. It's adorable. I'm a university student living alone, and I'm single. I'm not a part of any activity club. I just watch anime at home. My name is Hiroki Kusano, and I admit it, I had nothing in my life until I met this beautiful girl. I bet she has a boyfriend, though. 
she's too attractive not to have one. To top it off, Emily is spectacular in every aspect. You here again? Oh, hi, yes. I'm sorry. Why, you apologize. Well, uh... I'm happy you're here. Thank you so much. Uh... Thank you. I fell in love with this beautiful smile. She's bright and friendly, and I bet she already has a loving boyfriend. I've fallen in love with her, but I just know she's going to dump me. One day... It's so crowded today. That doesn't work out for me! Sorry, sorry. Huh? What's going on? It's called Express Mail! How can it not get there by tomorrow? I need to get this package to Hokkaido by tomorrow! But Express Mail from now takes two days. Seriously? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? Hey! Is there anyone here that understands Japanese? This girl right here! I can't get through to her! So he's the one causing the long line. He should have brought it in earlier if he wanted that package to get to Hokkaido by tomorrow. Um, excuse me. Huh? Who the heck are you? I've worked at a convenience store before, and I have some experience. Express doesn't mean it flies immediately to the destination. You can't bring a package in this late, expecting it to arrive tomorrow. What? It's her job to do something about it! What you're asking is impossible. You can't ask her to do something that's out of her control. Shut up, you fool! This is none of your business! You were asking for somebody that understands Japanese. So I'm here. A Japanese speaker. Why are you complaining? I... I was trying to get another store clerk! Well, shouldn't you have asked for another store clerk then? Oh, I get it. You're not so good with Japanese, are you? Sh shut up! You said anyone. That means you weren't specifically asking for a store clerk. Japanese people are supposed to be good at reading in between the lines. If I say anyone, it means a store clerk since we're in a convenience store. Oh, okay, okay. So you're saying I'm not qualified to be Japanese? That's right. Young people these days! You need to learn how to sense what's going on! I see. So if you're so good at sensing things, do you see how much trouble you're causing by making everyone in line wait just for you? Uh, that's... And you're yelling at a young woman at the top of your lungs. How is any of that decent? You want to prove how right you are? You won't accept any other options? Do you realize we are all waiting for you to get the hell out of here? Emily just read what was written on the screen. Nothing is her fault. Actually, it's your fault for not bringing in the package earlier. And you're blaming her for your faults. I don't care about reading between your stupid lines. And if that doesn't make me a good Japanese, so be it. I don't approve of what you're doing. And if this is what Japanese people look like from other countries, I'm embarrassed to be one. I'm never coming back to the store ever again! There's no need to announce that. Nobody cares whether you come here again or not. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Jeez, you kept talking about sensing things. Why can't you sense that you're the loudest one in here? Uh-oh. Crap, I think I went too far. I don't care about whether I hurt the man's feelings or not but I feel like I just butted in and blew up at him when this issue has nothing to do with me. I just hope Emily doesn't think I'm crazy, or else I will never be able to show my face in here again. Wow, I can't believe you got him to leave. That was insane. Huh? Absolutely amazing. You did a great job, man. Oh, uh, I'm... I'm sorry. Um, thank you for helping me. Uh, no, I just... The man, he was scary. I didn't know what to do. Hey, don't worry about it. Let's just focus on the customers waiting in line. I was relieved. Emily wasn't turned off. I felt a little awkward, but I was glad that I was there to help her. I used too much energy. I'm getting hungry. I guess I'll buy an old bento and head home. The line of customers was gone. 
so I took my Obento to pay for it. Thank you for help me, mister. It's okay. It was nothing. I wanted to apologize for butting in. I just couldn't let him yell at you. Huh? Couldn't let? I wanted to protect you. Why protect? I wonder why. <laughs> it's because I like you. Not that I could ever tell you how I really feel. Never. Oh, I almost forgot. Can you warm it up for me? Huh? What's wrong? Warm... warm up? Well, yes, if that's okay. I understand. I will warm up. Huh? Uh, wait a second. What are you doing? Warm up. I am warming up for you. No, no, I, no, no. I, I meant the Obento. Japanese difficult. That was sweet. I'm kind of glad she didn't understand me. And I am warm for sure now. Does she give out hugs to anyone? Won't her boyfriend be angry? Um, I will finish work just a little more. Can you and I talk a little? Uh huh? How cute can she get? There's no way I can say no to that. 30 minutes later, I finished eating my Obento and met up with Emily in front of the convenience store. We then headed towards a park. Um, your name, please? My name is Hiroki Kusano. Why you know my name when... Well, it's written on your name tag. Oh, yes, it is. She's even prettier up close. You... so cool when talking to man. You don't hurt him. You won with only words. Oh, that? I don't think my words were very nice, though. I want to talk like that, too. Like you. I don't think you should talk like I did back there. It's bad. Uh, if Hiroki okay, can you teach me Japanese, please? What? Me? You don't want to? Oh, no. That's not what I meant. I, I'd love to do it. Yay, Hiroki! You're the best! I love you so much! Uh, thank you very much. I forgot. People overseas use I love you more casually than in Japan. She's just trying to thank me. I almost misunderstood the situation, but thank God I realized before I made the wrong move. However, I still don't know how I should teach her. What would the main character do if this was an anime? Oh, anime? Hiroki, do you like anime? Um, yes. I also watch them at home. Anime, I love it too! Really? Emily told me a little about herself. One of the main reasons she wanted to come to Japan is because she was inspired by an anime she saw back home. She studied hard and learned a bit of the Japanese language, and finally decided to study abroad. However, life in Japan was far from what she expected. Emily, what kind of makeup do you use? Gosh, I want a new bag like now. Um, er... Uh... None of the girls she had met so far were interested in anime. They all talked about boys and fashion. She began to distance herself and ended up isolated and lonely. You the first person so nice to me. First one. You like anime. It's the best. I want to be with you, Hiroki. I know she doesn't mean it as I wanted to, but I can't help but get my hopes up. After that, we exchanged our contact information. We started hanging out quite a lot. I taught Emily Japanese through anime and Japanese games, which was fun for both of us. I was ecstatic about seeing Emily every day. She worked hard, and her Japanese kept getting better by the day. There was just one thing I was concerned about. Hiroki, can I go to your house sometime soon? Hey, there's something I've wanted to ask you. What? Emily, do you have a boyfriend? Boyfriend? Like a partner? My partner is you, Hiroki. What? Me? You are a comrade. Partner? Comrade? No, I, I mean like a partner in a love relationship. It would be wrong for you to come over to my place if you are in a loving relationship. I don't have a boyfriend. 
I will be all alone if you didn't hang out with me, Hiroki. Really? B but you're so cute. You said I'm cute. <laughs> Darn it. I wasn't planning on telling her she was cute to her face. So, partner, does that mean I get to go over to your place soon? I guess. Uh, I'll let you know when you can come. I seriously need to clean up my room. I should hide anything that could let out that I'm into blonde hair and blue eyes. For a while, things stayed the same as before. We hung out in public places. Emily called them dates, but I'm guessing foreign people refer to hanging out as dates. I don't think it means anything. Although our dates weren't romantic, we went to anime shops, movie theaters, and arcades. We had a lot of fun on our dates. However, one night, we got carried away. It's so dark. <sighs> Time flies when we're having fun, right? That's true. I never feel like we have enough time together. Oh, really? Do you have fun with me? It makes me think about how great it would be if we could be together forever. What's going on with Hiroki? He's so forward today. Hey, look! Can you see that, Emily? The moon is so pretty. Huh? What? Why are you so red? Um, well, uh... The moon is pretty means I love you, right? I heard it's an indirect way Japanese people use to tell someone they love them. I thought Hiroki was inexperienced with love, but he's actually very forward and passionate. I... I feel... I feel the same as you. Huh? I feel that the moon is very pretty too. Oh, I see. I'm glad you feel the same way. That makes me so happy. It's nice to know that we see the same things and feel the same, too. Me too! I can't believe he confessed his feelings for me! Oh yeah! My place is right over there, around the corner. Huh? Hiroki? Your place? Do you want to come over for a bit? I promised you I would invite you sometime. Oh my gosh! I never knew he would be so straightforward! Um, okay, let's go. Um, why are you holding onto my arm? It's because I feel the moon is pretty. That's why. Okay, so she's just taking in the moment. <laughs> Thanks for the great work, moon. I'm sorry, Daddy. Mommy. I am most likely going to take the next step with this man tonight. And so, I brought Emily back to my place. Oh my gosh, this is where my dreams come true. I think people tend to use that phrase when they are referring to a certain amusement park with a friendly mouse. This is just a geek-infested room. Hey, can I stay the night? It's too late to catch the last train. I bought some toiletries at the convenience store. Um, okay. Emily was going to stay the night. You better prepare yourself. You aren't getting any sleep tonight. What? This is going to be a night to remember. How wild is this night going to be? I wanted to show you this anime. It's the best. It's from Canon's rom-com mangas. They upload amazing stories. Oh, anime? After that, we kept watching anime. And then watched some more. And then some more. By the time we realized, it was morning. Ugh, it's morning. It sucks we couldn't get through all of the videos. We only got through like... 30. Oh, I see. What's wrong? Are you sleepy? I kind of sensed it halfway through the night, but I was hoping something would happen between us, but it didn't. Emily? I was expecting the night to be more romantic. Huh? Why? What do you mean, why? You were the one who confessed your love to me, and I told you I loved you too. Don't tell me you don't remember! You can't get out of this that way! What?! I have no idea what she's talking about! What's going on? When did I tell Emily my feelings? Think! Did you seriously forget? You said the moon was pretty yesterday night! <laughs> yes, I did say that. I said that, but... Huh?! Oh my gosh! 
You thought I was trying to express my love for you? Yes, Japanese people express their love in much more creative ways than other cultures. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I was simply stating how I felt about the moon. No way. So you were talking about the moon? Oh, oh gosh. Japanese is so difficult. No, I actually think you're impressive, Emily. Half of the Japanese population doesn't know that famous line from the... Uh, from the Meiji period. Uh, I am so... embarrassed with myself! I'm sorry, Hiroki. I misunderstood the situation. Don't say that. It's my fault for making it seem like that. I can't believe I told you that you wouldn't be getting any sleep. Now I realize... I should have told you straight up in the beginning. Huh? Told me what? You know, the only reason why I kept going to the convenience store was to see you. But considering how pretty you are, I always thought you had a boyfriend. So I had given up on anything happening. I couldn't tell you my feelings back then. But I'm ready to tell you now. Does that mean... I've had feelings for you for a while now. Will you be my girlfriend? Of course! That's all I wanted! Communicating can be difficult. You never know how the other person is actually feeling about your words. I have a feeling that one hug could be a better way to communicate than telling someone using your words. How about we... do it? What do you mean, do it? Hiroki, you know what I want to do, right? Um, yeah. I think. And so, we... Alright, let's get back to watching Kanon's rom-com manga. Yeah, yeah. You read me like a book. We watched the rest of the anime videos on the Kanon's rom-com manga channel. I'm working on my communication skills with Emily. That way, I will be a boyfriend who fulfills her needs. My name is Yuta Asahi. I'm an introverted otaku who's in his sophomore year of high school. Ah, she's so cute. I have someone I'm obsessed with currently. It's games on my phone. Mr. Manager, thank you for meeting me today. What's today's lesson? This is my pretend wife, I. I'm so glad to see you, I. Hey. What? My childhood friend, Koharu Sakurai, started talking to me. She had beautiful, long black hair and a nice face. She was popular in school as well. Hey, he's talking to Miss Sakurai again. Man, he's so lucky to have her as a childhood friend. Seriously? I wish I could switch with him. She shouldn't talk to an introvert like that anyway. I wish she'd talk to me. It was a regular occurrence that people were jealous of me just because we were childhood friends. Are you playing weird games again? Don't say it's weird! This game is about a girl who's working hard towards her goals. Is that weird to you? I don't care about the story. I'm saying it's gross that you're talking to your phone. I'm not talking to my phone. I'm talking to I. That's what I'm calling gross. You should stop caring about some girl in your phone and start caring about real-life girls. Who cares if I care about a girl in a phone? That's my choice. Ugh... This is why real-life girls are annoying. That's how Koharu kept making fun of me. What? what is your problem? What? You still want to argue? Sh shut up! I don't want to talk to a loser like you anyway! You were the one that started talking to me! Hmm. Koharu left up in arms. I want to hurry up and start my practice, manager! Oh, sorry, I. Let's go straight to lessons. What did you want to learn today? I wants to learn dance lessons today. Okay, let's go to dance lessons. How did I do, Mr. Manager? Did I get better at dancing? Yeah, you've improved a lot. Yay! Thank you so much! I'm going to keep working towards my dreams with you, Mr. Manager. Yeah, this girl is so much better than a real girl. Good morning, Mr. Manager. I'm so glad I could see you today. Good morning, I. I'm glad to see you today, too. I was talking to I like I normally do every Sunday morning. What did you want to learn today? Mr. Manager, 
I wanted to let you know something before we start lessons today. What is it? What? There are limited edition goods at the arcade starting today? I didn't know about this. You gotta come pick me up, okay? Uh, of course. Apparently, they had mentioned that they were going to release limited edition goods during a live stream they had. How could I have missed this? Such an important thing. Hang on, I. I'm going to go now. I'll be waiting for you, okay? Yeah, I can't keep you waiting forever. I hurried out of my house after throwing on some clothes. I bet you it's going to be crowded. I was one of the more popular of the game characters. If it's limited edition, I'm sure it would be even more so. Hmm? Koharu? What's she doing all alone? Maybe she's waiting for someone? Whatever. I don't care about her. I only care about I right now. Just as I started walking, two men showed up in front of Koharu. Hey, are you alone? Can I help you? I'm waiting for someone. How about you play with us while you wait for him to show up? No! Come on, if you play with us, you'll be happier and feel real good. N no! Let go of me! Then just come play with us! No! Come on, we promise we won't hurt you. Y you're already hurting me! Come on, just give us a chance! N no! Help me, someone! What are you doing to my Koharu? Huh? Y Yuta? What the hell? You were waiting for a guy? The two scurried away. <sighs> you okay, Koharu? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Good. Um, thanks. Don't mention it. We're childhood friends after all. I thought maybe Koharu wouldn't like me saying that, but... Y yeah Did he just say... Mr. Koharu? But why are you here? Oh, I was just going to the game center. Why? I have to go get stuff for I. I showed the limited edition goods to Koharu. That game again. What do you mean, again? You're never going to have a girlfriend if you keep playing those stupid games. Ah, uh, what the hell? I just saved you! Th that has nothing to do with this, though. You'll never have a girlfriend! She's so annoying. Always making fun of me for being an otaku. Yes, I guess I don't need a new girlfriend. I wonder what she'll say if I say I have a girlfriend, considering she keeps saying I'll never have a girlfriend. What? A new one? Huh? Just like I'd expected. Y you have a girlfriend? Yeah, a really cute one. What? Why are you crying? Huh? What? Hey! Koharu! Did I do something wrong? Why would she cry just because I said I have a girlfriend? She always made fun of me. Did it make her that upset? I mean, I don't have one, but... Mr. Manager, you only have 10 minutes left until you can buy the limited edition goods! Oh, I... yeah, I'll be right by. Oh, I need to go get I stuff! Yes! I was finally able to pick up stuff for I. My wallet is a lot more empty, but it's better than never picking it up. I'm going to go home and put it up in my room. Hmm? A limited edition message code? I have to open it immediately! Mr. Manager, thank you for picking up I. I always want to be with you from now until forever. Ah, uh, I want to be with you forever too. I love you, Mr. Manager! Oh my gosh, she's too cute. She's an angel! What, oh, what the hell? Why didn't he tell me sooner? Now I feel like an idiot. I didn't know he had a girlfriend. Why would he have a girlfriend when he's obsessed with that stupid game? Oh, hey, Koharu? What's wrong? I yeah, sorry. Some random men started messing with me. I'm okay, though. I'm glad you're okay. Here, wipe your tears. Uh, thank you. Sorry, I should have came sooner. It's okay. I showed up too early. Don't worry about it. I really shouldn't have came early. 
then that never would have happened. Good morning, Mr. Manager. I'm going to work hard today, too. Good morning, I. Let's work hard together. The next day, I was talking to I as usual, but... Huh? Koharu isn't making fun of me today. Koharu usually made fun of me when I was talking to I, but today, she was just sitting quietly in her seat. Maybe she's still holding it against me? I didn't tell her it was a lie yet. Why did she cry, though? I should ask her. Hey, Koharu? Uh, what? Why did you cry and run off yesterday? D don't worry about it. I wasn't crying either. You were absolutely crying, but... Sh shut up! Why don't you just go talk to your girlfriend instead of me? You don't have to be that angry. Uh, about that. I feel like she'd be even more angry if I tell her I'm lying. I should just tell her. What? Did you get dumped by your girlfriend because you only talked to your stupid game? Uh, actually... I lied about having a girlfriend. What? What? I mean, that's a pretty appropriate response. Uh, uh, really? Yeah, I don't really have a girlfriend. <sighs> Why is that phew? Because... never mind. Why did you lie anyway? I was just annoyed because you kept making fun of me. But you lied though! <sighs> Why were you relieved though? You're making me wonder. Sh shut up! I don't want to tell you! That makes me more curious. Come on, tell me! Do I have to? I mean, you don't have to... Like you. What? Because I like you. What? What? What did you like? You. Huh? What? Oh my god. I like you. What? Don't be so loud. What's going on? She likes me? What is this about? Maybe she's pranking me or something? There's no reason she'd like me. Or maybe it's revenge for me lying to her? That, that has to be it. I'm sure it's revenge. Then why do you keep making fun of me? Yeah, she kept making fun of me. There's no way that she likes me. But because... You've just been glued to your phone after you started high school. And you never paid any attention to me. So I figured if I made fun of you, you'd quit and pay attention to me. What? That's it? What do you mean, that's it? You realize you're going to have the opposite effect on me, right? Why? Do you think that I'm going to stop if you keep making fun of me? Drop it all and pay attention to you? I mean, do you not like me? No. No matter how much she makes fun of me, I still like her. I mean, well, maybe it's because she's my childhood friend, or, or maybe... Then... Mr. Manager, I'm bored! Oh, I... Sorry for keeping you waiting. Wanna start our lessons? Uh, hey! We're still talking! What the hell? You shouldn't touch your phone while we're talking! She said she was bored! I had to mess with it! That doesn't mean it's okay! Just give it back! No! Why? If you want it back, listen to me! Listen to you? Yeah. If I listen, will you give it back? It, yeah. What is it? Uh, um... What? If you date me, I'll give your phone back. What? What?! Y you're being too loud! What did you say?! I said... If you go out with me, I'll give you your phone back. Don't make me keep saying it. Seriously? Are you being serious? Yes, I'm being serious. I told you I liked you. You remember that, right? I thought you were just messing with me because I lied to you. Uh, I wouldn't do that. So what's it going to be? What do you mean? So, are you going to go out with me or not? You want to go out with me of all people? I prefer you. Why? I'm sure you can find someone that's more attractive. 
I can't give up on someone I've always liked. Then... Okay. But... Really? Yay! I had never seen her smile so big. Why is he so smiley? I don't know. But he looks like he keeps getting surprised. What's going on? I've never seen her so happy either. I haven't either. Yuta, you're being too loud. Be quieter. No. It's because you keep saying you want to date me. Maybe you shouldn't be so loud. Stop telling me what to do. Anyway, we're dating from today. I yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you your phone back. Uh, okay. Manager, I is lonely. I... sorry. Let's skip the lessons and go on a date. Really? I want to go on a date with you. <laughs> me too. What the hell? Are you cheating on me already? I I'm not cheating. You said you wanted to go on a date. I doesn't count. She counts. I want you to look at me only. I is my special girl. Okay, who do you like more? Me or her? You like the real girl more, right? Y yeah Then, we go on a date after class today, okay? After class? What? You don't wanna? I mean, no! Okay, then it's settled. Don't say you're gonna go on a date with her! <sighs> Why are you sighing, Kanagi? Where have you? Oh, Miss Asakura. The girl who was talking to me, Iroha Asakura. Oh, she's my boss. My mom has been pestering me to get married, so... I feel like I've heard the same thing, too. Huh? You're single? Nah, my niece is the one that's getting chewed out. Apparently, my sister is annoying him and he complains to me sometimes. I guess we all have problems. My parents annoyed me when I was young, too. They gave up now. <laughs> <laughs> That's... awkward. How old are you again? Oh, I'm 27. Oh, that's perfect! Huh? My niece is 27. How about you two see each other? S see each other? Like, matchmaking? I mean, it doesn't have to be so formal. Just see each other and talk to see where things go. Besides, I know it's probably not much coming from me, but she's very pretty. How about her personality? Huh... That's reassuring. It's okay. She's a little annoying sometimes and incredibly tiring to deal with, but it's fine! Is that what you call fine? I think she's perfect for you, if anything. What do you mean? I'll let you figure it out. What? Are you messing with me? Hmm, maybe... Please, stop being mysterious. <laughs> Sorry. Back to what we were saying. She's really not a bad girl. What do you say? I mean, if she's okay with it? I'll match make with you if she doesn't like you. Okay, what? I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, good one. I'm a little upset that you seem relieved. <laughs> Afterwards, I avoided her questioning. Then we went to the matchmaking, but... What's up, you two? Why are you so quiet? Nervous? I went to Miss Asakura's house to see her niece, but Miss Asakura seemed to be having fun. I actually know her! What? Seriously? Yeah. Yes. The girl sitting in front of me was Hikari Nanamiya. She was a classmate from high school. She was actually one of my worst enemies in high school, because we had competed for the top spot in grades for three years. I was good at science and she was good at liberal arts. When you looked at overall scores, however, we were tooth and nail. Her hair was long when she was in high school, though. I guess she got a haircut. What the hell? That's like destiny! No, I don't think so. Anyway, long time no see, Nanamiya. Yeah, it's been a while. This is so awkward. 
Okay. I'm gonna go now and let you two have at it. What? Miss Asakura? Where are you going, Auntie? You two should have a little alone time. Okay, see you later. She's gone. Auntie really doesn't listen to me. So, um... You cut your hair, huh? Oh, yeah. Right around the time I graduated? What? Is it weird? No, I think it looks good. Uh, I see. You've learned to brown nose. I'm not brown nosing, but... So... What do you want to do after this? Uh, I mean, she's gone, so why don't you just do whatever you want? What I want? I feel like if I go home, she's going to be mad at me. What? You want to go home? Huh? Oh no, I just figured you'd want me to go home. Who said that? I mean, um... Huh. I thought she didn't like me from when I was in high school. Maybe I was wrong. Hey, I heard from my auntie, but I'm being pestered to get married, right? Yeah, but... I have a suggestion. What is it? Do you want to get married? What? Married? It, yeah, I mean, pretend, but, you know, not really married. Why do you want to do that? Because your parents won't shut up, right? I mean, true, but... Do you have anyone you're interested in? Not really. I'd rather find a nice cat. Why don't you get a cat? My mom is allergic. Leave the house then? Nah, living alone costs money. I'd rather save money. You're so... steady. What's wrong with steady? I mean nothing. In other words, if you don't want a girlfriend, you should have no problem pretend marrying, right? I mean, yeah, but... So what about living together? I mean, of course. Finding somewhere so that our parents don't think it's weird, and yeah. I, I see. I mean, it's not a bad deal, I guess. She isn't someone who breaks boundaries easily. She can be a little loud-mouthed sometimes, but she's not a bad person. Is that really something you should be saying out loud? Huh? Was I saying that out loud? Yeah, loud and clear. From where? From... she can be a little loud. Sorry I can be loud-mouthed. Uh... <laughs> Whatever. Um, by the way, are you okay with cats? I'm okay with it. I like kitties. Kitties? W what? Nothing. You were totally mocking me. Not at all. <laughs> Don't get upset. Ah, that's right. She seemed calm, but she was actually pretty hot-headed. That's why she kept messing with me after I kept winning in high school. She would be all up in my face if I lost. But if I won, I had managed to calm her down, and we agreed to have the fake marriage. Asakura was confused after she came back, but she was happy to hear that we were getting married. By the way, I didn't tell Asakura that it was a fake marriage. Apparently, if we told Asakura, she would immediately tell her mom. A few weeks later... I didn't expect to come to the pet store as soon as we found a place to stay. You didn't have to come, Hikari. Since we were pretend married, we decided to call each other by her first names. Hikari was dissatisfied for some reason. Shouldn't we get a pet after we get used to the new house? I don't plan on buying immediately, but it's not bad to look early, right? I mean, but it's our cute little life together. What did you say? Oh, nothing. I see. Oh, hey, look, Hikari. The cat is in a little ball. Aw, it's so cute. Yeah, look at it, just sleeping away. It's like a kitten. Maybe a Scottish Fold? It's expensive, and I've heard they're a lot of work. Pets are pets. They take a lot of work. I'm sure there's little difference between breeds. Ah, it's awake. It's half asleep. <sighs> 
Ah, it's coming this way. Ah, it's following my finger. <laughs> it's so energetic. You said we wouldn't get a cat yet. Huh? Oh, it's fine. I want this cat, but I'm not in a rush. Or so I said. But I came back to the pet store over and over. And eventually, I got this cat at around the same time we moved in. Wow. Aw, Maru, you're so sweet. I had named the kitten Maru. It was because it would ball up in a little circle, and Maru was Japanese for circle. <laughs> Hikari? What's wrong? N nothing Are you upset? No! She's more... cranky than upset. I wonder why. Oh, that makes sense. Here you go, Hikari. Huh? What? Play with Maru. That's... Not what I was going for. Huh? Really? But thank you. <laughs> Maru is so cute. <coughs> Aw, you like that, don't ya? I'll give you more rubs. Wow. She's not cranky anymore, at least. I guess she didn't want to play with Maru, though. Why was she cranky? That same night. Hmm? What's that? Huh? H Hikari? What are you doing? Uh, I'm not Hikari. What are you talking about? Uh, no, you're just saying things in your sleep. Then who are you? Uh, I'm Maru. I'm a human. See? Look, I have cat ears. What the hell is she talking about? Why is she pretending to be Maru? Uh, I have a tail too. Why is Maru a human? I don't know what the hell she's thinking about. I just went with it. Also, Hikari cosplaying as a cat was cute. I just wanted you to spoil me like this. You want me to spoil you? He yeah. That's why she was pretending to be a cat. But why is she not adding meow to random sentences? L like this? Yeah. Can I let you take care of me? Y yeah Thanks. What do I do? She's too cute, but I can't handle it. I hope this lasts forever. Hikari was adorable. I couldn't stop thinking about it. She was such a calm person normally that there was such a huge gap when I saw her in her cat cosplay. I just figured I would go with it, but <laughs> Oh, Maru is up! Maru was asleep in the kennel in the room next door, but the entrance was open, so I guess she came out. But I didn't want her to come out right now. Uh, um... Yeah, just calm down, Hikari. Uh, you figured it out! You figured it out! I was trying hard to be a cat! Now Maru is up and you figured it out! Dude, I knew from the beginning! You're lying! You didn't know! If Maru didn't wake up, you never would have known! I thought kittens sleep for most of the day! Well, yeah, but they'll wake up sometimes, too. They're up at least seven hours a day. I don't need you to be so calm and tell me the facts! How are you so calm? Because you're so nervous. I can't be nervous with you. What the hell? That's not fair! What do you mean? Anyway... Why did you do this? He, he won't laugh at me? I don't think so, but... I was jealous of Maru. You always cared about Maru, so I figured I would be Maru and have you spoil me. Yeah, that's not how that works. I figured if you were half asleep, I could trick you. I see. That's why you came in when I was asleep. Did you want me to spoil you? Uh, that's not something you should ask me. S sorry but I need to know. Yeah, is there a problem with that? I mean, no, but why? Because I like you! Why do you keep asking me these questions? 
Sorry, I just didn't expect you to like me like that. You kept getting into arguments with me, and... It's not like we got along. I liked you, so I was teasing you. It was all because I liked you. Some girls can't be honest, you know. Ugh. I guess it was like when boys tease girls they like? I cut my hair because we broke up, and I wanted to change it all up after graduation. Huh? You didn't ask me out, though. Yeah, but... We were going to different universities anyway, and we didn't swap contact info, so it was basically a broken heart. I see. Then why didn't you ask me out during graduation? You're always like that! Just logically squeezing people! I told you I couldn't be honest. There were too many people around during graduation, and I wasn't brave enough, so... I mean, you could have asked me to go somewhere else. You had so many friends. I couldn't go anywhere that you didn't know anyone. Then calling you up and pulling you away from them? It's like telling everyone I was going to ask you out. I see. What do you want to do then? Huh? I mean, I know how you feel now, but it's not like you asked me out. So what do you want to do? I mean, I want you to marry me. I see. Hmm? Marry? Not go out? I mean, we're already pretend married. We live together. Let's just get married. Usually you should still go through the dating stage. After we're married, there's no going back. Let's start by going out. I don't plan on going back. I want to get married. You... Fine. We already live together. I guess marriage makes more sense. Really? You'll marry me? Yeah. I actually like you now, too. It was cute seeing her play with Maru, and I won't say that her cosplay act sealed the deal. Huh, okay. Let's have fun together, then. Yeah, let's. That's how we officially became husband and wife. We had spent our days together, but apparently Hikari had learned what it felt like to cosplay as a cat, and so she did it every night. She was so cute that I never complained. And kept spoiling her. I'm Tomoki Ikari. I'm just a regular old sophomore in high school. I like anime, manga, and light novels. I'm basically an otaku, but... Good morning, Tomo. I have a cute childhood friend. Her name was Shiori Kanagi, and she's an incredibly kind girl. <sighs> Good morning, Shiori. You look sleepy. You were up playing games again? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you need to go to sleep. You're gonna fall asleep in class. Don't worry. I'm gonna work hard to not fall asleep. I see. But you should sleep on the train. Yeah, you're right. We go to a high school quite far away from home, so there's plenty of time to sleep on the train. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so sound and peaceful. I want him to sleep well, but I like this too. Next up is Cannon Station. The doors on the left side will open. Crap, we're almost there. Wake up, Tomo. We're almost there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go first. Okay, later. Don't fall asleep again. I know. We always get off on this station and swap lines, but we go our separate ways here. We hide that we're childhood friends at school. Shiori is the school Madonna, so I was receiving quite a bit of jealousy hate. So we chose a high school far away and hid our relationship. Then one day... <laughs> that's so cold! That's Otori and her friends. When I was walking outside during lunch to relax a little, I saw Miss Otori and her friends playing outside. Miss Otori is considered one of the prettiest of the school, alongside Shiori. Miss Otori is popular, as you'd expect, but she's beautiful and kind, so she's called the Madonna. She's also my classmate. Even though we're in the same class, we almost never talk to each other. Who's revenge from earlier? You little... Yeah. Uh, why are you targeting me? Run! Huh? Akari, watch out! Huh? 
Damn it, you okay, Ikari? Oh, come on. You should dodge that, Ikari. Seriously, you're so slow. Hey, you two accidentally dragged him into this and that's how you behave? <sighs> so sorry <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm not injured or anything. Sorry, I'll wipe it off real quick. Hang on. No, oh, don't worry about it. it. You're gonna get your handkerchief dirty. I don't think so. Let me see your glasses. No, no, no. My eyes are weird. Seriously. What? Uh, those eyes? Give me my glasses back! After she saw my eyes, I quickly took my glasses back. I was always messed with as a kid for my eyes. That's why ever since elementary school, I wore weird glasses and hid my eyes to everyone, except my family and Manami. What's up, Manochi? Something wrong? N no! Yeah, nothing. What's gotten into you? I said nothing! Ikari, go over there! Oh, that's Miss Otori, by the way. Huh? What? What's going on? Just go. What is this? Where did the nice Otori go? Uh, are you free after class today? What? Why all of a sudden? Don't misunderstand. I'm just trying to play with you as a sorry for wetting you with water. Wait, was Miss Otori always like this? <laughs> don't worry about it. Y you don't need to waste your time on me. Wait, what? Why is she sad? Seriously, I don't mind. Uh, uh, what is this? Did she really want to hang out? Okay, then let's hang out. Uh, fine, if you say so. I guess I can make time for you. This has to be too... D d never mind, no way, no way. There's no way, Miss Autorius. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my friends now. Ah, uh, Miss Autori! You better be waiting for me after class. Don't go home. And she's gone. I guess that was good. Miss Autori is popular with everyone. I'm sure there are plenty of boys who are after her. I was scared of what would happen after I played with her. After class? This is where she wanted me to wait, right? She was nervous to go together from class, so I walked away from the school to wait for her. I told Shiori I wanted her to go home without me during lunch. Where is she? I'm right here! What? You scared me! Sorry, I didn't want to stand out. Yeah. The fewer people who see me, the better. S so where did you want to go? A girl looking at me like that? I'm going to mistake this for any anywhere you want to go. It's not like I want to go somewhere. I'm hanging out for you, so you should decide where to go. I see. Is this Miss Autori? She's acting a little annoying, like some other person. So, how about the arcade? T sure if that's where you want to go. Oh, you didn't like that? Let's go somewhere else then. No, I'm okay with the arcade. But if you don't like it, we can go somewhere else. I didn't say it like that. Don't bully me like that. What? When did I bully her? I was confused and headed to the game center with Miss Otori. Do you come to the arcade often? No. What? I've never been. Maybe since I was a kid. What? That long? I thought it was normal for people who are extroverts like her to hang around the arcade. You're saying rude things in your head, aren't you? What? N no, of course not. You're acting really sus. Anyway, um, let's try playing something. Oh, how about that game? Huh, a music game. I was always interested. Then let's give it a shot. I can finally change the subject. Or so I thought. <laughs> there was one upset Miss Otori after playing the music game. She had no sense of rhythm and she was really bad at the game. And here we are now. It's your first time. You can't expect to be good. It's hard for people who haven't played before. I mean, she played on the beginner mode, so I think it's a little different from the good people who are used to the game. Really? Yeah. <laughs> this is so easy! Mana can do this too! The timing... Wait, hang on! 
Come on! Some people are good at certain things! That girl just has great rhythm! I want to try that. You want to try the racing game? Can I? Oh, uh, sure. Let's go for it. Is she gonna be okay? I'm sure she's never played this kind of game, and I don't want her to get even more upset. I have a phone version of this game, so... Oh, uh, I see. I guess it should be fine. And then... <sighs> Just because you have the game doesn't mean you're good at it. She lost to the CPU in addition to me. She was completely disappointed. This sucks. I is there something you want to do other than these? No. Uh, I see. She's really upset. She came to hang out with me, but she's so upset. I feel bad. I wish I could cheer her up. Oh! We should try the crane game! Crane game? I'm just going to fail. She's completely gone. It's fine. I'll teach you how to play. Okay, I'll give it a shot then. Yeah, you got this. She listened to my advice and gave it a shot. As a result... Uh, I got it! I finally got it! She successfully grabbed a cat doll. Great job! Oh, um... <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Oh no! You won it fair and square, so don't mention it. She's really cute. I understand how she's popular. You can't look at me with those puppy eyes while holding a cute doll. What next? Uh, wait! Chiyokanagi? Why are you here? I was holding back and watching, but... I don't want you to play with other girls. What? T tomo um, what's going on between you two? Uh, um, We're childhood friends. There she goes. I was surprised by you showing up, but it's not like you two are dating then, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, but... Then you shouldn't be telling him that he shouldn't play with other girls. Uh, but... But? Um, I've always liked him, so... What? So, I don't want him to be taken by another girl! Chiori likes me? Am I dreaming? Uh, I like Akari too! What? So, I can't just listen and back off! Miss Otori likes me! I have to be dreaming! I know it! I knew it! There was no way that Tomo would tell me to go home without me! That's why I followed him! Then you came out of nowhere, and... I thought maybe, but... Y you never cared about him, though! There are times that you can suddenly notice someone! You're saying something crazy, too! I didn't know the popular idol was a stalker! Hey! Did I guess that Madonna is being scandalized, too? You completely a tsundere when you hang around Tomo! S tsundere Not at all! No! It definitely was tsundere! I know because we watched anime and manga together in his room! Don't try to act like you're so close to him! You're pretty cutthroat, huh? No! Uh, girls, let's just calm down! How can we calm down? Yeah, it's two girls at war! What? What did you even love about Tomo? Uh, I didn't say I loved him! Then let's go! The, the part where he looks good, obviously, and I like that he's calm. You just saw him without glasses, right? I didn't say anything specific. I can tell! Uh, then what about you? But, uh, where he's kind, obviously. He's super kind. You're just trying to make yourself look good. N not at all! You're way too different from how you are with everyone else. You're the same way. You weren't this aggressive. I can't give him up! What do I do about this? They're normally so calm and I've never seen the two acting like stereotypical girls. More than anything, I couldn't have imagined that they would be arguing over me. The g, -g, g girls seriously, the best thing you can do is just calm down. But... Ikari, don't interrupt us. Maybe I shouldn't be one to say it, but... I don't like everyone seeing you argue. You don't have to get along, but at least calm down and talk about it. Talk about what? Right? 
Then you answer us. Th that's it. It's totally up to you anyway. I knew this was coming. Then, can I have a little time to think about it? I want to calmly decide who gets to keep me. Shiori is attractive, sure, but Altori is incredibly attractive, too. I'm sure she was just kind because she wasn't interested in me, but the Tsundere Altori is cute, too, so... So I want to think about it. Uh, okay. I am okay with that. It, uh, yeah, me too. Okay, then. You two play nice for now. This is how I was stuck between the top two girls in the school. I started getting pulled between the two at home and in school. By the way, Miss Altori is normally nice, and the tsundere was apparently just because... because she was shy and didn't know how to interact with me. Mr. Kogane, can you check these documents for me? I have some for you, too. Me, too. <laughs> okay, guys. Just leave them on my desk. I am Yuto Konage. I just turned 25 and my company is making me work like hell. Why am I the only one with so much work to do? <laughs> Yuto, you never get a break, do you? Hey, boss! This isn't funny. I might just end up dying from working too much. This is my boss. He's kind and gentle, but that's not all there is to him. He's good at his job. When I was a new employee, he was the one who gave me the best advice. However, he's also the reason I'm so busy. Oh no, that would be a tragedy. But I've got good news for you. Ah, uh, why am I starting to get a bad feeling? I'm impressed at how you can talk back to me like that. Nobody else talks to me like that. Anyway, I heard you like anime and manga, am I right? Yes, that's true. You know, my child loves that stuff too. Will you be willing to take some time to show some of the good stuff? Um, uh, but I've never even met your child. Yes, I'm aware of that. To tell you the truth, my child has been a shut-in for a while now. I want to make the situation better, so I thought you guys could become friends. That's why I want you to come over to my place. Why do you think I would be the right guy? You guys are the same age, and you guys remind me of each other. Hmm... Is he trying to say I have a gloomy character? The way he said it, it bothered me. But I decided not to tell him about it. I'm open to meeting new friends, especially one who has the same interests as me. But if he's been a shut-in for so long, he might have some problems with communicating. Who knows what I might say that could hurt his feelings. Gosh, but I owe my boss for teaching me so much. I see. I guess it won't hurt to have a little conversation for starters. Yes! I knew you would be willing to help me out. How about you come over this upcoming weekend? Sure, I can do that. And so, we decided I would be meeting his son that weekend, at his house. The day of the planned meeting? Hey, thanks for coming, Yuto. I appreciate the invitation. This is for you. You didn't have to do that, but thanks. Here, come on in. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, hello. That's the boss's son, right? He said we were the same age, but he looks a lot younger than me. <gasps> Hello? Oh, I apologize. As you can see, my kid isn't used to talking to people other than family. The name is Kokoro. It would mean a lot to me if you guys got along well. His name is Kokoro? Wait, we're the same age, and since we're adults, would it be better to call him Kokoro-san? I don't want him to think I'm being overly friendly. Kokoro-san, I've heard a lot about you. Oh, uh... Kokoro, this is the guy I was talking about. His name is Yuto Kogane. He likes anime and manga, so I think you guys will have a lot to talk about. Okay... Here, let me show you to Kokoro's room. Yuto, why don't you follow me? Sure. I followed my boss and Kokoro-san into the house, towards his room. However... Uh, uh, uh. He keeps looking at me. I guess he hasn't seen anybody other than his parents for so long, it's weird to have a stranger in the house. But he looks away every time I try to make eye contact with him. It was awkward, to be honest. Okay, how about I let you guys have some privacy? Huh? Boss, you're leaving already? D dad wwait Well, 
I don't know anything about anime and stuff. I wouldn't understand anything you guys are saying. You should get to know each other. But... but you said Kokoro-san wasn't used to talking to people. Wouldn't it be stressful to have to spend time alone with a stranger like me? The thing is, Kokoro will hide behind me and won't speak at all if I'm here. Sometimes, parents have to get their children to face their challenges, so they can grow. With all due respect, you're taking things too fast. <laughs> Come on, relax. I believe in you, Yuto. You'll do great. Seriously, you always do this. I've been watching you take care of all the employees who joined the company after you. That's why I trust you with this. Please? For me? This happens every time. How am I supposed to take responsibility if something goes wrong? Well, we'll find a way for you to take responsibility. Wait, so you're planning on making it my fault if something goes wrong? After throwing it in my face like this? Don't worry about it. As long as you keep your hands to yourself. You think I would try something with your child, whom I've only met seconds ago? Why would I be interested in a guy anyways? Okay, have fun guys! Boss, I'm not done! Hey, maybe I'll go out for a walk. Hey! He had a huge grin on his face as he shut the door and left the house. Uh... 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 uh, uh. Gosh, he's totally freaking out. What did his dad expect? You can't trap two strangers in a room and expect them to instantly become friends! Anyway, I gotta calm him down first. So... Kokoro-san, you like manga and anime? Uh. Huh? He's hiding from me! Um... Uh. Oh. I can see he's a little interested in me. Kokoro-san? What kind of anime do you like? Uh, 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 Miss Horse. Oh, I like Miss Horse too. All the characters are so cute, but the story is great. I love the racing scenes. <gasps> Yuto, you like it too? Yes, of course I do. Have you played the app game too? I yes, and I have all the manga books too. Wow, same here. He's coming out. Great. So I guess anime is the way to go with him. Who do you like, Yuto? Well... We got along great after finding out that we liked the same anime. I was afraid that we wouldn't be able to talk properly since he had been shut off from the whole world for a long time. But none of that mattered anymore. I'm jealous. I want her too. <laughs> you don't want to know how much money I spent on getting her. I wish I had money for characters. That's true, but that can't be helped. He probably doesn't want to ask his dad for money. I wouldn't be able to either, if I wasn't working at all. I know, I should be out working, but I'm scared. Oh. I should have asked his father why he ended up like this in the first place. I don't know what to say to him. I wish I knew why Kokoro-san is so scared to leave the house. I can't ask him. That would be too harsh. They have stay-at-home jobs now. What about those? I don't have any skills, and I'm too scared to talk to strangers. Hmm. So maybe he had a traumatic experience in a relationship. If he's been like this since he was a student, maybe he got bullied. Well, I don't think you should push yourself too hard. Hmm. But that doesn't mean you can stay like this forever. So how about you and I just take baby steps? and we can slowly start getting ready for your future. Don't worry, I'm here for you. Okay then. Oh, are there any books on the bookshelf that you've read? Huh? You have so many books! I have a lot of time at home. My dad buys these books. He's a great father. Let's see. Yeah, I've read most of these books. <gasps> You're... a companion! <laughs> it looks like it. Companion? What a unique way to call it. Recently, I've been into this manga. Kokoro-san took out a manga to show me. It was a manga about a Japanese instrument called Koto. Oh, they started an anime series on that manga, right? I heard it's great. Uh-huh, yeah, it's amazing. I really liked reading it. The performance scenes are so cool. It brought memories back from when I was young. Did you watch... 
the anime too? Of course. I almost started crying at the end. <gasps> Hito, you're just like me. I love talking to you. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. After that, we spent the rest of our time together talking about all kinds of manga and anime. Kokoro-san seemed quiet at first, but I soon found out he was rather energetic once we started talking about stuff he liked. I had a great time talking to him, and I think we both had fun that day. I felt a little sad when we had to say goodbye. Starting that day, I spent every moment I could with Kokoro-san. We spent a lot of time together. I felt lucky to have found a friend I could talk to about my interests. We kept talking non-stop about our favorites. After three months of hanging out in his room, he asked me, Oh, you want to go to an amusement park? I yes I've always wanted to see what it's like. Two guys in an amusement park. Usually I would suggest calling some friends to join us. But it probably took Kokoro-san a lot of courage to bring this up. I don't want to do anything to crush his efforts. Well then, let's go on my next day off. Yay! Thank you! We spent the rest of the day talking about which amusement park we would be going to. To be honest, I always wanted to go to an amusement park with a girl, but I guess it can't be helped. I thought it would be best if I kept that thought to myself. The day we promised to go to the amusement park... I wonder where Kokoro-san is. I was waiting for Kokoro-san. It was way past our meeting time, but he hadn't arrived. Maybe I should have suggested picking him up at his place. Should I go see him now? Oh, hi. Oh, Kokoro-san! I'm glad- Huh? D did I make you wait long? Kokoro-san? Yes. Do I look weird? No, you look great. Kokoro-san is a girl? And she's so pretty. You... You look so different today. Oh, I told my dad I was going to the amusement park with you, and he told me to wear this. Oh man, I bet he planned all of this to happen. Anyways, should we head in? Gosh, I can't talk to her like usual. I can't believe she's a girl. Okay. Kokoro-san, have you been to any amusement parks before? Nope. My dad was busy with work while I was growing up. He didn't take me anywhere on weekends. Oh, I see. That's why I was looking forward to going today. Oh, that's great. Oh, no, my heart needs to stop! My heart started racing the moment she glanced up at me. I did all I could to keep my poker face, and we headed to the amusement park. So many people. It's gonna be okay. Nobody's here to hurt you. Please don't grab my clothes. My heart is racing. Let me calm down. I... I know, but still... How about we get on a ride for starters? You'll stop caring about others once you start having some fun. Oh, okay. Which one do you want to ride? Oh, the Ferris wheel. Okay. How about we head toward the Ferris wheel then? No. No Ferris wheel yet. Huh? I thought... Um, I want the last ride to be the Ferris wheel. Maybe she's scared of heights, too. That's fine with me. How about we go decide which ride we want to ride now, then? Okay, thank you. N no problem. Is there anything you're interested in? Um, I want to ride that. Teacups? Is that okay? Uh-huh. Sure thing. I'm riding teacups with a girl! We spent the rest of the day enjoying all sorts of rides at the amusement park. Kokoro-san surprised me by suggesting to get on the biggest roller coaster in the place. But she seemed to regret her decision once the ride was over. I could see she had tears in her eyes, and she looked like she had seen a ghost. I can't believe the day is almost over. <laughs> yeah. Time flies when we're having fun. Yep. This is the first time I felt like time went by too fast, ever since I stopped interacting with the outside world. Uh, how was being in the outside world? Um, I had so much fun. That's a relief. Hmm. Kokoro-san? Um, Yuto, I wanted to tell you something important today. Something important? Yeah. Back when I was in high school, I was bullied by a group of girls. That... 
must have been so hard for you. Yep. I don't know exactly why they didn't like me, but they used to make fun of how I looked. I'm pretty sure they bullied her because they were jealous of how she looked. Spending the day with her made it clear. She was very attractive, and I could see how other girls would be envious. The bullying wasn't her fault. She didn't deserve to go through the pain. She should have been able to live a normal life. Instead, she was traumatized because of the hate that surrounded her. It ruined her life. That's why I couldn't leave the house. I was terrified of meeting people. Kokoro-san. But Yuto, after you came into my life, I started seeing the better things in life. That's why you decided to come here with me? Yep. My dad encouraged me to take this step forward with you. He said I would be safe in your hands. So, did you feel safe today? Yep, I feel protected. I had so much fun today, spending time with you. I think I'll be okay, as long as you are by my side, Yuto. Oh, I'm so glad you feel that way, Kokoro-san. So, um, I wanted to ask you something. Ask me what? Um, can we stay together from now on? Huh? What does that mean? Well, um, I was hoping you'd be my boyfriend. Yuto, I like you. Not just as a friend. To be honest, I was shocked. Kokoro-san was so afraid of being involved with people. I never imagined she would be the one to ask me out. However, I could tell she wasn't joking about it. That's why I gave her my honest answer. Okay. I would love to be your boyfriend, Kokoro. Are you sure? Of course. I enjoyed every moment I spent with you these past three months. I want to get to know you better. <gasps> oh my gosh! You don't know how happy this makes me, Yuto! This is how Kokoro and I started our sweet journey together. Kokoro slowly became more willing to leave the house with me and she started a part-time job two months after we started dating. We had the perfect relationship. A year later, we were walking down the aisle to get married. Just FYI, I complained to my bosses about the workload they made me deal with. I needed more time to spend with Kokoro. They agreed to lessen the weight on my shoulders, and I was finally able to live a healthy, balanced life with Kokoro. Thank you for watching! How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well!